This week's film is about an overprotective mother who just can't cut the umbilical cord. Hello and welcome to Talkative Reviews The 5 Good Things where every week we tell you about a new film. Today we'll be talking about Helicopter Ela. Helicopter Ela is an interesting film as far as on-screen mothers are concerned. Now more often than not in Hindi films we've seen the very sacrificing cannot be wrong virtuous sort of mothers. Remember that famous Mere Paas Maa hai? and of course mother india who is so morally upright that she is willing to kill her own son if he does something wrong now helicopter ila is different it's about ila raitulkar who wants to be a singer and she's a single mom and ends up being in the same college as her son sounds pretty different isn't it now the good thing about it is that this is not a mom who is perfect She's adorable. She loves her son to bits, but she's also a little annoying. Yeah. I thought that was an interesting space for a Hindi film mother to be in and uh, therefore the interest in the movie. Now we all have our favorite mother anecdotes. Mine is like my mom will call me up any time of the day and she's going to say, uh, "Hello, have you eaten something?" And I'm like, "Who does that?" So till date even my mom she would come to my room if it's 2 a.m. or 3 a.m. in the night. But she would turn up. She would wake me up, and she would keep asking me, "Is everything all right? Is there any problem?" So this is something that makes her really concerned about me. And yeah, is there? Absolutely, that's such a mom thing to do. Asundra, yeah. what about you? Yeah, since I'm staying away from my parents, so they are even more overprotective about me. And whenever I hang out with my friends, so my mother calls me, and she's like, "Abhi bhi ho dosto ke saath baal jao ghar jao." <laughs> yeah, I can imagine that. Now, essaying this particular role is Kajal. who has her work cut out for her because she is a mother who is equally loving and annoying in parts you know but she is also endearing and i think kajal strikes that perfect balance with her energy enthusiasm and all of that there was this scene when you know she is going through her son's bag and then she finds weed over there and she's like are tere bag mein methi kya kar rahi hai i found that really funny yeah i think everybody could relate to that because most moms have no sense of space or privacy like my mom will go through my messages even today like you know so yeah tell me about that but uh, even riddhi sen who plays yes. her son vivan even though he has a smaller role i thought he was very good because he brings in a certain amount of maturity which is needed for that role and uh, he has a restraint you know usually you see that in a lot of actors yes. who have experience yeah. um, so even though he's acted in some bengali films i thought for someone as young as him it was a remarkable couple uh, quality i was pretty impressed by him so totoroy choudhary who plays the father he was really nice at the beginning of the movie but then his role was very short and the exit his exit from the family when he leaves the family it was very easy and it was all in a jiffy what do you think about that yeah i can see where you're coming from because he's a supportive husband he's right there and then he kind of goes out from their lives for a reason which for which you have to watch the film and then makes a comeback so um obviously like you know it was a little rushed you're right it felt a little convenient mm. but i think the whole point of that scene was to show that um, the mother and son they have over time uh, bonded so much that they are this one unit sort of thing mm. and uh, perhaps also to establish ila's over dependence you know yes. and her emotional neediness like yes. why she so needy so it kind of puts that in perspective otherwise you won't know like you know what's wrong with her okay she's a single mom but what the hell so it kind of establishes her reason to be like so over protective and yeah. so in over involved in her son's life but another very interesting part of this film was the whole retro music bit you know mm-hmm. like that doffing of the hat to the pop music culture of mid 90s yes i love that you know and that song ruk 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 yeah. uh, which was actually uh, from an ajay devgan film yes. ajay and tabu i think oh, vijay yes, vijay, vijay pa, pa. Pa. Yes. so i thought that was like really cool and that mtv party scene with all the like pop music superstars of that time like shan and baba sagar 
I thought that was done pretty nicely and it was very cool. Yeah, being a 90s kid, so I have grown up listen uh, listening to Shah and, and Baba Segal. And like when I got to know that Kajol is a fan of Baba Segal in the movie, I found that really hilarious. And they get rapping also. Yeah. So, I mean, I thought that was done really nicely. Yes. Interestingly, the producer of this film is none other than Ajay Devgan, who is like known as an action hero. And of course, he's a director and producer as well. But why I say interestingly is because this is obviously a women-centric film. And the character of the protagonist is very different from the usual run of the mill as we discussed right in the beginning. So it's great that uh, he's producing these films under his banner because last year also uh, there was this movie called Parched yes. about these four women and their different lives and the movie did pretty well. So um, more power to them and I hope they produce many more films like these which entertain and which have women protagonists at the centre of them. And then of course the director of the film. Pradeep Sarkar, who is another advertising veteran, he is also the producer of some very good music videos back in the day, yes. uh, which we've all enjoyed and loved. And of course, he's directed some fabulous films like Parinita and there was uh, Mardani, Mardani, all, you know, again with strong female characters who kind of led the movie and actresses who carried these movies on their shoulders. So, this is again a movie which needs a bit of sensitive handling yes. because it's not an action film, you can't see things in black and white, it's not like all guns blazing, it's all about relationships, sweetness, emotions and all of that and I think he handles all this very well. So those are the five good things from us this week. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, hit the like button, subscribe to us and definitely follow us on social media. Thank you.